Okay, so we're here at uh, Fruits Harbour and Amateur Radio, uh, Ham Radio 2018, and we're joined by Franco from Elads. Franco's call sign is India Uniform 3, Alpha Delta Lima. Welcome, Franco. Thank you. And um, you've got a range of products here from your company. Perhaps you can perhaps talk us through what you've got. Yeah, uh, here we have a DF DM Duo. This is a QRP transceiver. It's a 5 watts and may reach a, a maximum uh, 10 watts output. And uh, this is uh, three years old. And uh, now yeah, at this, uh, uh, at this uh, ham radio, we are uh, presenting the new, uh, the brand new um, amplifiers. They are not only amplifier, are HF amplifier, antenna tuner, power supply, and uh, also the remotization for the duo. Yeah, uh, I see you've got a very nice display as well on there. You can really see. The uh, SWR yeah. and the power and things. Yes, yeah. so this is a uh, simulated analog uh, uh, pictures, but uh, it was. It have also the peak meters and have uh, a lot of uh, uh, menu to set up. Have uh, three antenna inputs, and um, and and can also display uh, the, the the spectrum of of the of the signal. So okay. uh, can use uh, without. Uh, can use it also without uh, the PC. Okay, so that's really adding also a lot of functionality to the to the base products. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And I think you got two models here. What's what's the difference? Uh, the difference is uh, the power. The power uh, we have a uh, 60 uh, watts uh, output uh, power and uh, 120 uh, watt power. Okay. And this, the difference is uh, on the power input because the 60 can be uh, powered by AC and DC. 12 volts, and the 120 can be powered only by uh, AC because they have uh, uh, 50 volts uh, uh, internal LDMOS for okay. amplifier. Understood. Okay, great. Okay, well, we've also got some receivers to look at, so we'll walk and wander over there. So we moved across to the uh, another table here. We've got some receivers here, Franco. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, yes. This is a, a receiver. This is the uh, bestseller uh, receiver we have, uh, the FDM S2. Uh, this is uh, PC based, uh, is powered by uh, USB only yeah. and can uh, uh, receive from uh, uh, some kilohertz to uh, 54 megahertz and works, it, it is a uh, 16 bit uh, SDR, um, can work uh, uh, the sample rate is 122 megahertz and can work uh, up to 54 megahertz. Yeah. Uh, continuously, and then we have uh, put also two under sampling band, the 75 to 108 megahertz for FM, DX, and uh, uh, another is from 135 to 162 megahertz in okay. under sampling mode. And how much bandwidth can you see on the on the screen there, ones? Uh, yeah, uh, the bandwidth can uh, start uh, from 192 kilohertz uh, to 6 megahertz. So, that, so the PC, I presume, needs to have a certain amount of power to be able to handle that uh, amount of the data? The power of the PC depends uh, on how many demodulators you have. Yeah. But you can start from uh, an atom, a uh, small atom uh, PC, and normally you, if you have an i3 uh, Intel, it can work. Uh, Okay. Without any. That's good. Yeah. And you told me earlier you've also got this other model as well, which is a kind of a built from that one. Is that right? Yes, yeah, from from the duo that have the same receiver of 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 uh, FDM S2. Uh, we have uh, also the receiver only version. And here we can see also the uh, pre-selection module that can be combined in, in with the FDM uh, S2. Uh, the FDM Duo R uh, have already internal pre-selector. So really this, this essentially is the same as this, a yeah. power sold in one box, so you don't need the PC, is that right? Yeah, uh, and, and have also the internal demodulator. Okay. So, so you can all... use a standalone, but you can use also with the PC, uh, obtaining up to uh, eight plus one, nine receivers at the same time. Okay. Fantastic. And you're also saying as well, this actually, you can actually use this in combination with a traditional transceiver as well? Yes, especially for S2, uh, uh, 
its use uh, can, can be in combination with, uh, with a regular uh, transceiver. Can use uh, with the RX output, yeah. can be used with IF output, yeah. or can be used with the switch box uh, if the regular transceiver do not have any output. Understood. So it lets you kind of, I guess, get a view of the RF spectrum and then you can tune it on the on the on your transceiver to that particular frequency I suppose yeah 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 uh, and the synchronization from uh, the PC and the and the and the transceiver is done by OmniRig software OmniRig yeah. okay we, yeah our software uh, is connected directly with the OmniRig so anything OmniRig supports will work with your with your product yeah okay great and you're also saying you've got another product which is quite new Okay, and Franco, you've also got some other antenna aspects here? Uh, yeah, uh, this is uh, for uh, receive only. These are accessories. Uh, for example, this is ASA uh, 15. This is one antenna input and five outputs for more multiple receivers okay. with the same antenna. And this is uh, uh, six antenna and two receivers. So you can uh, select uh, the antenna input and uh, uh, that be fit feed into the receiver. Yeah, except being a very very useful thing. Got lots of aerials, very useful bit of kit to uh, the feed the right the right out you know the right input to the right output. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. Okay, and finally, uh, Franco, you were saying you got a brand new piece of kit here, which is not for sale yet. Would you just tell us about this this one here? Uh, yes, this is the FDMS3. This is a, a direct sampling receiver, brand new, with a um, USB3 powered by USB 3. With the USB 3 you can reach up to 24 megas uh, span at the same time. Uh, for this uh, reason, this uh, uh, um, receiver needs a power PC, uh, i7 at least, because it uh, needs a lot of power to, uh, for the high bandwidth uh, yeah, throughput. Sure. Lots of yeah, yeah. So, for the, so when this will be released, uh, when will this be uh, available, do you think? Hopefully it's soon. Okay, um, so it's not quite not quite ready yet, but this is just no, here to show us. Under beta test, we are under the uh, beta testing, and if the hardware is uh, is uh, finished, is uh, stabilized, uh, we hope uh, very soon to, to release. Okay, great. And if people want to know more about Elad products, whereabouts would they go? Uh, the best way is to connect with our website that, that we are changing now, but uh, soon will be increased with more features and uh, information of the new products. Okay, and what's the address for the website, sir? Uh, www.iladit.com. Uh, okay, that's great. And if you want to actually buy one of these, what, have you got dealers around the world that, that sell these? Yes, we have uh, Vimo here in Germany, we have uh, Martin Lynch in UK, we have uh, our own company, uh, very small company in, uh, in uh, based in the US to follow directly the US market. And also we have other distributors all over the world and we have also our uh, website that uh, have a yeah that's great Franco thanks very much for your time and have a great show thank you thank you